at the fishing pond this Monday morning uh, after a, a long weekend, weekend shift work. I'm relaxing here, fishing for trout. Um, weather's not that warm, too cold for the season, but we have a nice wind. Not much surface activity of trout, so we are fishing bottom uh, sinker setups. And uh, we shall see what we should get. We have caught trout now and then here. Not too many, but it's, it's nice fishing. Lure fishing is uh, restricted June to July here, so I'm forced to fish this way. Anyway, uh, I've got my umbrella set up. My wheelbarrow that I'm using to carry our stuff around the pond because it's a long walk, don't want to carry all the load on my shoulders. Uh, got my carp chair so I can relax after the long weekend work and see whether we can catch a trout or two. Alright. This is the way I've set up my rods for uh, bottom fishing. Um, with a uh, rod rest, Y-shaped rod rests, the rod tips pointing up and upward, and uh, I have uh, fixed some strike indicating bells to the rod tips there. And this is the first reason why I have them pointing upward. Second reason is that the swim has a lot of weed in the bank area just to pass the line over the weeds leading into the deep water. Don't know if you can see it on video but the line and the rod makes a, an angle of almost 90 degrees. Uh, even though I cast out only 15 meters or so, the swim is pretty deep. Um, then we have a uh, A bobbin I've made on a short term, cut out of a branch, used my Swiss Army knife to cut a 45 degrees notch inside it to uh, put in the, the line. I only have two bobbins like this in my tackle box, my wife is using them, so for my own rods I, I had to do two of branches. They work equally well. And. Uh, I've uh, put the real seat behind the uh, Y-shaped rod rest so that no fish can pull the rod in the water. So the idea is if a fish pulls it will pull up the bobbin and uh, then it will start to shake the rod and uh, the uh, bite alarm would go off. This uh, bells actually, no bite alarm, it's just simple bells quite common over here for eel fishing. This is just because I've had a weekend shift and I'm quite tired so if I should fall asleep I still have a chance to get the fish if one should be on. Well that's my setup, two rods set up same way and let's see if something's gonna take my bait. All right. Uh, I'm using special uh, bottom sinkers. They are quite uh, common here in Germany. These ones are called uh, Tiroler Hölzel. The weight actually is at the bottom. Then there's a plastic tube. Air is inside so uh, it keeps the rig off the bottom a bit in conjunction with an uh, anti-tangle tube. Uh, so the line won't tangle to the leader on the cast. I've been using this rig for many years and uh, I'm satisfied with it. Okay. This is what we're coming for. Stocker trout. Nice ones. Stretching two pounds maybe. Uh, is the first one we get today. Uh, it's nice eating these ones, so I smoke them, so we take them home, they are stockers anyway. Okay. Okay, uh, we are packing up. 
fish stopped biting, only one trout caught. I blame it on the weather. It suddenly got so warm and not even carp are biting. So I'm going to load all my stuff now uh, on my wheelbarrow. I made this one uh, almost 20 years ago to carry my fish and stuff. It's homemade actually. Quite useful. Uh, Alright, maybe next time I will be uh, we'll be having a bit more luck. Uh, Alright, see you again. Bye bye.